right now starting and stopping EGCS uh, has got no problem. We just uh, let us assume that the system is stopped now. So how to start it? Just to click this EGCS stop stop button and please confirm action. Then you've got an uh, automatic sequence start, automatic sequence stop. So what happens if you just press this start? When the system is in auto, it will follow the sequence and automatically the system will come into operation. Now let us say open water discharge valve, it will automatically open. Both the RP pumps will start and come in operation. After 30 seconds, main engine AE dampers will open to the scrubber system and the atmospheric will close. Now, during this sequence, if any of the main engine or AE dampers not opening or closing fully, then the system will not automatically go to the next step. In that case, what you have to do, you have to immediately put the system in manual operation. Then you have to see which valve is not closing or opening fully. You have to note out the number which I already told. Like you can go to the next, you can see here, it will become red. If, uh, for example, this valve is not closing. Number two, atmospheric valve is not closing. Then you have to go to the equipments and you have to check number two DG damper valve. Number two DG damper valve EPF5. Note down this number, go to the tower. You have to open and close this valve manually once. Then you put the system again in automatic. So this time automatically the valve should be able to close and open here close and open in the sense it should close this valve which is going to atmosphere and the valve to the scrubber tower will open whenever you are putting the system in operation so that is one uh, okay once this step is uh, okay then it goes to the next one then the other items are uh, simple usually after stopping for long time whenever you start the system you, we usually get an alarm like uh, flow, there is no flow, heated water, no flow alarm, there is no flow because the pump either not taking suction or the filter is dirty. You have to go and check the heated water sampling unit which is on the, which is above the insulator platform. Go there and check what is wrong with the pump. Usually only two issues we faced till now. Uh, that is uh, the filter is dirty or the pump is not started or the pump is not taking suction. Solve the issue so that the system again comes to automatic operation and the system will start. That's all. Similarly, whenever you are stopping the system, whenever you are stopping the system, it will follow the sequence. Anywhere it gets stuck, the automatic operation will not go further beyond. So you have to put the system again in manual, solve the issue and then put the system automatic back.